Coming right up, the Nuggets taking on the Warriors. For Denver, they come in having only lost one of the past eight games. This obviously is a tough team to beat. Warriors, Nuggets on 2K Sports. I was to look at you, my face down on the floor. I told you, you don't have it. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. The championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Kevon Looney. And for the Nuggets... The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Jokic in its center. Well, Richard, as we were just talking, there is no shortage of experience in this matchup. These rosters are loaded with veterans. Yeah, and that should make for a high IQ basketball game. But coaches have to be careful. You don't want to overplay these old guys. Go. So Golden State will get the first possession. Here's Curry. Over Jackson. Curry. Good. Stephen well, Curry. Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up, nails the shot with ease. Jackson looking around. Pass to Porter from downtown. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. Looney kicks to Thompson. Baseline jumper, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Denver Nuggets. Jackson passes to Gordon. Dishes it to Porter. Banked in off the glass. And he's just a definite scoring in so many ways. It's clear Porter very comfortable operating inside. We're about one minute into the first. On the pass to Looney. Pass to Thompson. Knocks it loose. Gordon with it. Picked up by Thompson. Pass to Porter. On the wing, Jackson. Caldwell Pope with a screen for Jackson. Porter outside. Porter can't get that one to fall. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a win against New Orleans. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. Now Jackson, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. So we're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Looney finds Thompson. Curry against Jackson. And the rejection by Jackson. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. To the middle. Gordon with it. Looney on him. Jokic draws the double. Five on the clock for three. Gordon. And another miss by Denver. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet. Only managing to sink one of their first five shots. And Richard, for the Warriors, a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part. But Stephen Curry 
we all know this, is the center of it all. He's the greatest shooter ever, Kev. We all know that. But I, when people say that he changed the game, a lot of times I like to give credit to the entire team. Having Klay Thompson helps Steph be Steph. And having Draymond Green with that defense and his passing ability helps Steph game go to another level. Now, here's Jokic. There's Porter with the three. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Porter's got five points so far. And you already see the great range, a calling card of Porter's, even back in high school, shot 47% as a season. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here and going against Denver, their first meeting of the season. And in this matchup, last season, not one of the games went their way. And a chance here to check out some stats on Steph Curry. Last season, he played outstanding. And you look at his three-point field goal percentage. How about top ten in the league? He did not miss often. And just going back to his free throw efficiency, it's about confidence when you're at the line. You've always said it. He had it. That's how he ended up with the top three ranking. And Jackson gets it to go. Oh, great ball move there. Here's Curry. It's a six-point game. Pass to Wiggins. Green with a screen for Wiggins. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Green kicks to Thompson. Jackson against Curry. Six to shoot. They need this one. Well, the offense is sputtering a bit here, starting to fall behind. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range. He's one for five. Jokic sets the screen for Jackson. And Denver again with the bucket. Jackson. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Now, here's Curry. Outside, Green. He feeds it to Wiggins. There's the pass to Green. A three, and the Warriors miss again. The Nuggets leading by eight. Porter passes to Jackson. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. Warriors ball. These teams were last season's best passers. The squads with the most assists in the NBA. The Warriors number one. The Nuggets in second. Both teams really good at passing the basketball. You look at the numbers from a season ago, very unselfish. Timeout called the Warriors. Starts. Curry looking around. Wiggins finds Looney. Down to five on the shot clock. And Green gets it to go. Must have been too good to pass up because Green is kind of picky from the arc. And here are the Nuggets now. Leading by five. Jackson passes to Jokic. There's the dish to Porter. Back to Jokic. Caldwell Pope outside. Jokic with his screen on Thompson. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. A great outside shooting, really fueling this run. Curry passes to Looney. Outside, Green. Here's Wiggins, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Porter. Working hard against the defense, Wiggins manages to draw the foul inside. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Denver. 
They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. Jokic sets the screen for Porter, takes a three, and it's Jokic missing. Warriors trail by seven. Talking about the grizzled veteran, Draymond Green, still such an important player in this game. Yeah, it's just because he's so unique. He doesn't look to score very often. His main focus continues to be on defense and his playmaking ability. Here's Gordon. And Curry pulls it down. Golden State's gone 105 from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Passes it to Wiggins. Looney kicks to Thompson. Feeds it to Wiggins. And it's Wiggins with the jam. Incredible passer at his position. Green is especially good at getting it to the open teammate. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Denver. It's a five-point game. Pass to Jokic. Tipped away. Curry with the steal. Here's Green. That's basket number Green two Green. with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Just an unselfish play from Curry. Always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. Denver leading by three. Outside Jackson to the paint. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, Richard, you played for eight different teams. So early on, what's it like adapting to a new club? New players, new chemistry, new everything. Well, eight, man, that is a lot. But look, at the end of the day, the one thing that you learn is that it's just the basketball. And the faster you can figure out your teammates in the system, the more success you and your team will have. Free throw good, Porter. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players, guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Now, here's Wiggins. On the wing, Thompson. Just five to shoot. And it's blocked by Gordon. No, I wouldn't test Gordon. With that vertical and lift, please try someone else. Jackson against Paul. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Denver needs to get off the shot. Aji and Looney sends it back. Pass to Paul. Back to Looney. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Just another assist and another day for Chris Paul. One of the best point guards to ever do it. The Nuggets lead by three. Outside Porter. A fadeaway. And it's Looney with the rebound. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. And it's Golden State with another one. The chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Denver shooting in this first quarter. Around 38%. They're looking a bit creaky out there. Gordon, the pass to Porter. Back to Gordon. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And with the moment, let's check out some stats for Thompson. He had a strong showing last season. He averaged 22 points per game last season. Four rebounds and two assists. And to have a player who can fill it up like him coming in off the bench, what an asset. He's crucial to the success of their second unit because he can keep that offense rolling. Here's Gillespie. Here's Brown. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by three. Golden State's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. But deep three from Thompson. 
Can't tie it up as that one misses. Denver they've gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. And there's the pass to Porter. Buries the long range jumper. And now a six point nugget lead. He's looked practically unstoppable this quarter. The defense, yeah, well, they haven't had many answers for him. Ball right side. The 11 footer. Yep, that one goes in there. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. Here's Gillespie. Passes it to Najee. 109 left to play in the first. Pass to Gillespie. From past the arc, another three for Denver. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Fifty nine seconds left in the first. Ball outside. He dishes it to Thompson. Ball outside. And it's blocked. Here's Gillespie, defended by Paul. Pass to Brown. Porter in the corner. And again, Denver with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Thompson outside. And there's the whistle. That's going to go on Christian Brown. That's his first foul. 13 foul. Substitution on the court. Charge finds Paul. And the Warriors miss again. And so it's the Denver Nuggets with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more in store for you right after this. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one what do you guys think about the nuggets out here in this one well this is the edge that great rim protection can give you you can't overstate how much interior defense can shape the game they have a distinct advantage there and they have turned it into a lead the nuggets leading by 10. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Dario Saric, and it's Peyton in at the three. The epic counts. Brown's got his second basket. An agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Here's Curry. Six on the shot clock. Oh, really nice finish. Yes, yes. <laughs> so challenging trying to guard Paul, especially when he's slicing passes through the defense like that. Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Denver's gone six of twelve from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well, and let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. Now, Steph Curry has changed the game, but he's going to be hard to emulate. Steve Kerr says he has maybe the best hand-eye coordination in the world. Coach is not bad in his own right as the career leader in three-point percentage, but in their free-throw competitions, Steve says he switches everything. Guy's annoying. I can't beat him. Kevin? <laughs> All, right. All right, David, thank you. <laughs> the Warriors have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And look back a season ago. They did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Kev. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three, but the Warriors and the Bulls, because they had two dominant eras, and not much really before, and not much really after. On the clock. And the three ball is good. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Shorich. He kicks it to ball. But Trey, and that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Doesn't come back and fire threes very often. Paul answers that time. Gillespie, the pass to Jokic. Here's Tyson. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Tyson's got six. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Paul. Then we're able to drain the three. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Brown, the pass to Gillespie. Watson with it. Denver passing it around. Jokic finds Watson. Here's Brown. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors trail by 11. Kaminga, the pass to Paul. Back to Kaminga. Charge inside. Hits the jump hook. Charge has got four points in the quarter. And how about capitalizing there in close? Sarge has the touch to take advantage from just about anywhere. Here's Gillespie. Jokic passes to Brown. To the wing on the left. Jokic inside. Covered by Sharich. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. Jokic with a screen on Paul. Gillespie, the pass to Jokic. Pull-up jumper. Shot is good, and the Nugget Chris lead has got to just seven points in the basket from Chris Paul. All of that was ignited by Chris Paul. Top five in steals all time. Down low. Here's Tyson. It's blocked. Blocking Whistle ball. blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's his first personal play. Great teamwork. Second team by a strong finish. Defensive foul. Yeah, that's nice execution. Defensive. Running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Kevon Looney comes in for Sharch. And Andrew Wiggins is up in for Gary Payton. To the inside, Jokic. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Jokic has got four points this quarter. That's the efficiency you want to see from Jackson. Using his poise and vision to make a play. Paul gets to Wiggins. They set the screen. Back to Paul. Over Gordon. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Denver leading by six. Jackson passes to Jokic. Outside for Caldwell Pope. That's in, coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. 
Here's the spin move. The pass to Paul. And the rejection by Jackson. Jokic finds Jackson. Here's Brown. Passes to Jokic. Throw it down, Nikola Jokic. Oh, Jokic with attitude there. Love it. Warriors trail by 11. Pass to Looney. Back to Paul. Wiggins left side. And they get it. That shot missing. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury them. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. They get Stephen Curry. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Denver making a switch here. Porter's checked in. Thompson for the triple. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got rebound number five here tonight. Jackson passes to Porter. Gordon with a screen on Paul. Porter double team. It's stolen by Green. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Greg finishing last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they've had great regular seasons before, only to fall short. But with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr., Jokic finally had the help to get it done. And that one misses. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry. Higgins is checked in for the Warriors. Here's Brown. Hits it from three-point range. Brown's got the lead up to 13 now for the Nuggets. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. Last outing for Golden State. They won that game against the Pistons in Detroit. And mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. And the mental game you talk about, a lot comes down to coaching. Having your players focused. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Denver leading by 10. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Brown. Covered by Wiggins, and Jackson gets it to go. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Pass to Looney. Back to Curry. Green against Porter. Green deciding where to go with it. Five to shoot. It's Curry outside. Curry, three, book it. This is how lethal Curry is. Even when you guard him tight, he can find a way to score. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, a bit surprising to see them leading at this point, given the number of turnovers they've already committed. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They trail by nine points. The pass to Wiggins. Inside. And he stops it. What a pass to set him up. D was too focused on Wiggins scoring. Easy give to his teammate. Now Jackson. He's got seven. On 
explodes from 13. Again, the Nuggets score. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Now, here's Looney. He's coming off a 10-point game against Detroit. Yeah, but he was the ultimate two-way player. Defensively, also doing a great job. A couple blocks in that game as well. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Here's Gordon. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. And we'd be remiss not to mention his incredible rebounding. Just a force on the backboard. Warriors trail by 12. Ball looking over the floor. Higgins outside. Two the ball. Two minutes. Thompson a screen on Jackson. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Three Paul times. as that one goes in. Paul's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. 146 left in the first half of the game. Jackson against Paul. Left side, Porter. Back to Jackson. Pocket six. Caldwell Colt with a screen for Jackson. Another three for Denver. And that defense wasn't enough on Jackson. He's clever and can shoot through that opposition. Paul outside. Green with a screen on Jackson. Paul with the ball. Now guarded by Porter. Porter with a block. Denver passing it around. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And how about the confidence right now from Jackson? Not bashful at attacking and drawing attention from there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And the first one at the line is good. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Denver making a switch here. Jokic just checked in. Jackson hits both of them. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Paul against Jackson. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And a great assist by Three. Paul as that one goes in. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. Here's Jackson. He's got 14. Passes it to Jokic. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That's his second personal. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Shot and game clock separated by five. Pass to Green. There's 14 seconds left in the first half. Back to Wiggins. Over Gordon. Good on that shot. And with that, the Nugget lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Wiggins. Fires from way outside. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Reggie Jackson firing on all cylinders for the Denver Nuggets. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with them. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. 
All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first half, let's take an early season peek at how the Western Conference is shaking out so far. Looking at the Nuggets, this team wants to do big things, shack size things, and I got to say, they're looking almost as dominant as Kenny. Easy, big fella, but I got to say, they are making it look easy, here in this early part of the season, at least. And now looking at our current game in progress, a disaster of a first half and it's a grim situation for Golden State. I haven't really seen the effort from them in terms of rebounding. In fact, at times, they're getting straight bullied. And that's certainly costing them right now. But effort is something you have control over. We'll see how they come out in the second half. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Reggie Jackson has been sensational. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. And you can bet that that's had an effect the rest of the way. Guys won't be trying to take him one-on-one -on -one because he alters just as many shots as he blocks. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic sharing the wing spots. It's Caldwell Pope and Porter. And it's Jackson in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. There's the screen. It's Curry outside. The three ball Stephen from Curry. Curry. Few do it better than Curry. The range of his shooting is practically in a league of its own. The Nuggets leading by nine. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring lists, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. Pass to Thompson. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Now the pass to Green. Porter with the steal. Now Gordon. And it's Gordon with the finish. And we've seen Gordon in the dunk contest before. He enjoys showing off when given the chance. Nice job capturing the moment on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Thompson dishes to Curry. From deep three-point territory, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Curry's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Warriors. Passes it to Jokic. Back to Jackson. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jackson's got 16. And another for Jackson, a streaky score, but when he gets hot, watch out. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. It's a 10-point game. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, some people play with a chip on their shoulder, feeling they don't get enough recognition. I can tell you that's not Nikola Jokic. Nuggets coach Michael Malone said he's not going to bed at night wondering why no one's talking about him. He doesn't care. He's reading his books on horses. We're winning games, and he's happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. Kevin, I'm happy, too. You've always been happy, D.A. Hey, thanks. That was good stuff. Appreciate the report. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And the three-pointer, a big part of KCP's game, about half his shots come from out there. 
Here's Thompson. Eight points for him. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Curry with another miss. Good job by the D to stay with him and make that a tough three. Bob pass to Gordon. It's stolen by Green. Looney with it. Five points in the game. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. Here's Jackson. Drops in the layup for two. Jackson. Jackson's got four points this quarter. Their execution after halftime has been excellent, making their first four. Warriors trail by 13. Thompson passes to Green. Now, here's Looney. Wiggins surveying the floor. Thompson, a screen on Jackson. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Yeah, that's sort of a picture of what not to do on those last two possessions. They're being way too loose with the ball. The Nuggets leading by 13. Jokic with his screen on Kerr. Jackson passes to Jokic. Kicks to Porter. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. In the corner, it's Gordon. Four on the shot clock. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Pass to Jackson. There's Porter with the three. Connects from three-point range. Porter's got 16. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Nuggets. They've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. And also, you've got to mention the block shots. Playing hard on defense, not allowing shooters to get comfortable. And here is Curry. After Michael Porter made the last three-pointer to stop the drought. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Green. Wiggins has got five points now in the quarter. Denver leading by 13. Outside Jackson. Pass to Gordon. There's the three. A shot off that time. Great tee that time from Green. Outside Curry. Back to Thompson. Higgins outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. He's got 16. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Denver's gone 2 of 3 when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Jackson passes to Jokic. Count that one. And we talk about the importance of versatility. He's really got it all on the offensive end. Warriors trail by 12. Now here's Curry. He's got 14. To the inside. Stolen by Gordon. And now the Nuggets. Last break. Let's it go from 14. Goes back up. Outside for Caldwell Pope. No good from outside. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Stolen by Jackson. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Wiggins passes to Tuts. Looney with it. Guarded by Porter. And here's Wiggins. Outside Curry. Curry always finds a way. This time inside. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. And it's Jackson with the ball, bringing it up for the Denver Nuggets. Down low, here's Jokic. Wiggins with the block. There's the length from Wiggins. Got the paw up and redirected the shot. Outside Curry. There's a good screen. They double-team Curry. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. 
Here's Porter. And Thompson sends it back. They get it back. Here's Jackson. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. Uh, he's been locked all the way in from the floor, and he's the number one reason why they're winning right now. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Down by 12. Higgins outside. The pass to Kirby. Back to Looney. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. And the basketball IQ that Curry possesses is special. Capable of shredding the defense in a screen roll. Denver leading by 10. Jokic with the screen on Curry. Jackson passes to Jokic. Good! Jokic can indeed take a little contact. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Thompson outside. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Nuggets have gone better than 53% before since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. And the foul called on Kavon Looney. That's his third foul of the game. Timeout is called first of the game for the Nuggets. And team strategies mostly guarded. One aspect of the game, the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan, and everything falls into place for a team. Zeke Naji is checked in for Denver. Christian Brown comes in for Gordon. Then for the Warriors, Jonathan Kaminga. He's checked in for Looney. Hayden comes in for Green. And it's Paul in for Stephen Curry. And here is Paul. After Reggie Jackson was able to get the triple. All against Jackson. Kaminga sets a screen for Paul. Rebound by the Nuggets. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. This is it to Jackson. Side Porter. Another three for Denver. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Warriors trail by 18. Peyton passes to Kaminga. Golden State moving it around. Wiggins dishes to Paul. And the rejection by Jackson. Pass to Caldwell Pope. to Jackson. Caldwell Pope outside. Shot clock at five. And a wide open look for Porter. Another three for Denver. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Timeout called the Warriors. Warriors call Let's take a moment to look at the 2K leaderboard and see last year's highest scoring team. Second, the Warriors. I just loved how this team attacked their opponents. You could see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. Here is Paul. Nine points in the game so far. Thompson outside. Two minutes remaining. Paul with the screen for Thompson. Back to Paul. Peyton outside. Shot to stop the run. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got six assists now in the game. Sharp find by Paul. One of the best passers of all time. The Nuggets leading by 18. And RJ, don't you feel like the leadership of Chris Paul still will play a factor? No matter who his teammates are at any given moment, there's no question who's running the show. Paul knows how to make any five-man group look like a cohesive unit, Greg. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. I just love how fast Thompson gets his shot off. It makes him so much more lethal. Jokic, he's checked in for point of the game for your Nuggets. Number 15. Here's Gillespie. Jokic a screen. Puts it up from 12. Count it. Gillespie's got five points so far. And when he breaks out the cross over, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Pass to Payton. 
Kaminga kicks to Paul. Thompson outside. That three off the mark. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point lane. There's the pass to Gillespie. Shot clock at six. Jokic with his screen on Paul. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Gillespie has got five points now in the quarter. To the middle. There's Kaminga. And it's good for two. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. There's 21 seconds left in the third. Here's Gillespie, defended by Paul. Here's Gillespie. One second left. Jokic. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Golden State gets called for the foul. For Denver, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. Two shots. And he sinks the second. And so it's the Denver Nuggets taking a 19-point lead into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. We've got to get the first domino to fall, and then it's boom, boom, boom. The extra pass. We're not running plays to get a shot. We're running plays to get the domino to fall. So move the ball, drive and kick, we'll get great shots. How's preaching team chemistry right now, Greg? And he wants more ball movement because that makes everything simple. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Wiggins is out there with Gary Payton the second. And it's Kaminga in at the five. Denver leading by 17. Pass to Najee. Jokic draws the double. Launches a three. Kaji, good. And he's just stretching him out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digit. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. That's his first turnover of the game, and that only goes to show how well he's taking care of the ball to this point. Here's Gillespie. Pass to Jokic. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. Shooting 78%. Oh, the Joker taking over. He's had his way offensively, making it look easy. Here's Jackson Davis. Dishes it to Kerr. He kicks it to Pete. They double team Kerr. Here's Jackson Davis. Get in the ball anywhere close for who? That thing is Stephen over. Curry. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Pass to Watson. A three ball. And again, Denver with the triple. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys build contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Denver leading by 21. Gillespie, the pass to Jokic. 
Here's Gillespie, defended by Paul. Here's Jokic, and there's another one for the Nuggets. And you just can't give Jokic any breathing room because he is a threat to fire from anywhere. The Warriors have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. All up top. Fourth quarter of playing. We're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. You know, a, a good job by the defender of not getting fooled by the step back, but he still got the shot to fall. Jokic with his screen on paper. Here's Trother. And there's another one for the Nuggets. Taking full advantage of a gap in the mid-range coverage. Pass to Jackson Davis. Payton with it. The dish to Kerr. They double-team Kerr. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got five assists tonight. The pass to Jokic. Now here's Watson, guarded by Curry. Back to Jokic. Five on the clock. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. The shot. And there are the Step Warriors now with another bucket. Assistant on a team. night like tonight, Steph Curry Jackson is must-watch basketball. He can score from anywhere. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Passes it to Jokic. Here's Strother. Jokic with his screen on Peyton. A steal. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Jokic with the steal. To the wing right side. Watson, the pass to Gillespie. There's the pick. Pass to Brown. Six to shoot. Now, here's Jokic. It's hauled in by Jackson Davis. Warriors trail by 18. Dishes it to Kerr. They double-team Kerr. And Paul with Chris the basket Paul. on the assist by Kerr. Assisted. Curry's Stephen got Curry. six assists now in the game. It's his agility that helps Paul beat interior defense, especially when it's tight like this. Nuggets have gone five of six on the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Here's Gillespie, defended by Paul. Pass to Watson. Now, Jokic... And there's the pass to Gillespie. Pocket four. Here's Brown. Got a hand on it. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Substitution on the floor. And here is Curry. to the paint. Here's Looney. And a great assist on, by Looney. Curry as that one goes in. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Time out, time out. Earlier they held a 23 point lead. Denver calls timeout. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to hear what the Nuggets head coach was saying to his team. And he was real calm during the timeout. He was smiling when he told the team, we're up. Game plan is working. Go out there and have fun. It's always fun when you're up late. Guys? Thanks so much, David. A constant threat around the rim. Gordon is an agile big who just throws it down with ease. Warriors trail by 16. Outside Curry. From deep, another three for Golden State. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. For Denver, they've gone 6 of 8 from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Jackson kicks to Porter. Porter double team. From deep, Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. 
passes it to Paul. Outside curve. And another three for Golden State. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Denver leading by 10. Now Jackson. Jokic with the screen on ball. Jackson passes to Jokic. Kicks it to Porter. Pass to Jokic. Six on the shot clock. Goes back up. Jokic gets it done right in front, in close. Oh, great effort. They're fighting for that loose ball. Joker continues to attack the offensive glass. Ball outside. They double team curve. Here's Looney, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Great game for him. Double double down. 11 points and 10 rebounds. Denver's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Out left to the wing. Here's Jokic. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. Jokic has got 13 points in the second half. Check out the vision from Jackson. He doesn't have to make the flashy play. Just wants to make the right play. Warriors trail by 12. Ball outside. Pass to Thompson. Looney gets to Paul. Wiggins dishes to Curry. They double team Curry. Paul, no one around him. And another three for Golden State. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? Here's Jackson. Gordon with a screen on Paul. The pass to Jokic. The shot from the low post is good. Jokic has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Timeout called the Warriors. The short rest very important. And one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team. While having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade. Replenish your energy for the late game push. Raymond Green has checked in for Wiggins. And some consider Curry to be the greatest shooter of all time. And by some, I mean all. And he is capable of getting hot in a hurry. Shooting for Golden State. Stephen Curry. Taking two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Denver leading by 10. Jackson with it. Gordon with a screen on Paul. Jackson kicks to Gordon. Caldwell Pope outside. Just five on the clock. Here's Jokic. And Looney sends it back. Green, the pass to Paul. Outside Curry. Paul with the screen for Curry. Back to Paul. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Denver's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Jackson with the bounce pass. Here's Jokic. The 10 footer finds the target. Jokic has got 26. Smooth light butter. Jokic can make you pay from anywhere. Curry with it. Now defended by Jokic. And it's sent back by Jokic. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Down low. Outside Gordon. Hits it from three-point ring. Gordon's got five points now in the quarter. And I feel like Jokic has 360-degree vision. I mean, no matter where the open man is, he's going to find it. Two minutes remaining. Now here's Curry. Passes to Paul. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Looney down low. He's against Jokic. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Looney. 
There's a minute 47 left to play in the final quarter. Jackson against Paul. Outside, Gordon takes the three. Warriors with the rebound. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Back loose. Jokic with the steal. Now here's Jackson. A floater, and he comes up with the deuce. Jackson. Jackson's got 11 points here in just the second half. What a resilient finish from Jackson there inside. Now, I love how he just refuses to back down. And the Warriors making a change here. Higgins is checked in. Curry from deep three-point land. Offline with his three. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for Denver. When you shoot this well from three-point range, you're really hard to stop. The defense didn't rotate out fast enough to stop the hot shooters. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. They were lethal from deep. And with this effort tonight, grabbing their eighth win of the year. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Jokic. He was everywhere, defensively, offensively. The effort we saw from him tonight, I think, was the difference. Now Jackson, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Jackson drives in. Here's Jokic. And Looney sends it back. Jackson kicks to Jokic. Two on the clock. Tries yet again. And the layup is good. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Here's Curry. Thompson, a screen on Jackson. They need this. A shot by Curry. No good. And here's Jackson. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Aaron, big night offensively. What is clicking for everyone right now? Who's moving the ball? Moving the ball, man. That's a, a big part of our offense, making sure the ball doesn't stick and that people making shots. It was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, David. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching.